When this is the action, it keeps you busy. And when you, as the official, have finished your tally, you have to know how to weigh the balance of justice on the penalty side of the scoreboard. Do you know how to do it when the tally is completed? You're the ref. Hi, Mike Emmerich, along with John McCauley, Assistant Director of Officiating in the National Hockey League. John, here's the source of a lot of confusion for fans. They have multiple players involved in penalties, and sometimes the penalties that they hear announced aren't actually flashed up on the board, and that becomes confusing. So let's pose some sample situations and see what goes on the board and also who winds up serving how much in the way of penalty right. time. First of all, we have a, a sort of a stock situation. Mm -hmm. Major and a minor to one player from the white team. Major and a minor to one player from the red team. What goes on the scoreboard? There's nothing on the scoreboard, Mike. Uh, there, we treat those as coincidental minor and major penalties, equal duration to each player. And so they serve no purpose because the teams don't play shorthanded, so nothing will go on the scoreboard. When do those men get out of the penalty box? If that penalty occurred at the 10-minute mark, they're released after a stoppage of play past the 17-minute mark. All right, now this time we throw a third player in. A uh, player from the white team has a minor penalty, coincidentally, with a player from the red team. But then another white team player comes in and fights with that same one player from the red team. So we have seven to one player from the red, two to one of the players on the white team, and five to another. What happens there? Here's a case where you have three, three players involved, and you don't have equal distribution of time amongst the players, even though, because they're not equal to each other. So here, the white team would play shorthanded for two minutes, and the minor penalty for the red player would have to be served as well. So each team would play shorthanded. All right, another one where we have major penalties involved. A uh, white team player fights with a red team player, and that same red player fights with a, a second white team player. So we have two whites with five apiece, and ten minutes assessed to one red player. Here's a case, Mike, where we have technically three players involved, but we have four major penalties. And since we have four major penalties, we treat these all as coincidental major penalties and nothing will be on the scoreboard. All right, last. Uh, this one could be confusing, but you'll straighten it out for us. And we are putting elapsed time in the period up on our graphic so that we can show you the distance and time that's occurring between these fouls. First of all, the white team is assessed a minor penalty at 18.50. Five seconds later, at 18.55 of the period, in other words, with a minute and five seconds to go, there are coincidental minors, one to the white team, one to the red. Then 15 seconds later, at 19.10, the red team is assessed a minor, and at 19.25, another minor to the white team. Look those over, because now we throw in the wrinkle, and that is a goal. And who do you want to score the goal, John? The red team will score the goal. All right, and the question will be who comes out of the penalty That's box right. for the white? That's right. And the answer? Second, the penalty at the 1925 mark to the white player, he comes onto the ice. Reason being, the player who assessed the penalty for white at 1855, he was served, he was assessed the penalty along with the red player, so they are coincidental minor penalties. White team is shorthanded by one penalty, so we treat these as coincidental minor penalties, and it'll go on the clock. Red was assessed the penalty at 1910. Then again, white was assessed the penalty at 1925. A goal was scored. Player at 1925 caused the white team to be shorthanded at the time the goal was scored, so he is allowed to come out to the ice because there is relief for a minor penalty in that case. Okay. It's confusing, but that's why we're it, the ref. <laughs> <laughs> if we were to sit down all the players in the National Hockey League and pose that situation to them, do you feel that most of them could get that one right? Do you know what they do? They'd say, we'll leave it up to you. <laughs> <laughs> He's John McCauley. I'm Mike Emmerich. You're the ref. John McCauley will answer some of your questions in later shows. Write to him at You're the Ref, Prism, Care of the Spectrum, Philadelphia 19148.